character. So people out here trying to get that bread now. They're tired. Yeah. Especially since uh, we don't got that Nintendo money. It's like, what am I doing playing this crap character to get like five bucks for getting eighth place or, or ninth place? Or Twitch.tv streams, obviously. Make, hashtag make that content. That's the wave now. We got a lot of content creators coming out the woodwork for uh, Smash Ultimate. So trying to get yourself in the hat. Now's the time because you'll be drowned out later on. Uh, here we go. He's already racking up a pretty uh, pretty penny worth of damage against Rappi. That's my 64%. Oh, he's shooting that gyro right in his face. This is what's tricky about Rob, right? He's got a lot of projectiles. Yeah. To play with. My man's all about that laser beam, about that gyro. Trying to chill back away from his opponent. Kind of just wants to zone him out with the projectiles. You know, forces uh, Diddy Pong or Dill to be able to try to like break through the force. It's gonna be, he's gonna see a lot more walking, a lot more patience coming from Dill trying to like get through it all. And also the grabs, he wants the beep boop. A little bit too much rage for to actually convert right. into the up air, but. You know, the other thing is for Rafi is that he was always one of New England's best players. Still is one of New England's best players. Oh, that's, oh no, he falls out. And now sometimes. if anyone knows how to SDI up air from Rob, it's gonna be Dill. But toward the end of Smack, oh my god, you good. Yeah. Oh, see, forward. this is a bad spot, right? Because, he, oh, he actually hit him out of there. That could have been a bad spot for Rob, because once Rob commits to that up B, he, can't, he can no longer air dodge, only swing. So it gives him a free rocket barrel boost afterwards, you know? That's crazy. Rafi's still trying to finagle his way around. He throws out the gyro a lot. He doesn't actually care yeah. so much if it hits. He just wants the stage control it offers, and he'll just roll behind it. And if you move forward, you get caught. Just goes with a uh, little mini seismic toss coming from Rafi. Comes up, must come down. The tombstone pile driver coming hot. Now Dill just needs a clean down tilt. Chases him off stage. Catches the landing. Waits for him to get the gas. Yeet. And we are going. <laughs> yeah. I knew that man was out of here. You kidding me? He's out of there. Bro. The moment he got that grab, I was like, I know how this ends. Huh? Just... Come on now. We out. How did Dill not see that coming? Oh my god. I'm oh so god. mad. You saw Dill reel back and smile. You know you knew exactly what he did wrong. I cannot believe Dill fell for that. Of all players, Dill. This is the end of Smash. We've been playing this game for years, and you still get hit by that? Still? Do you want a high ass four airs on a shield? So game number two. Let's just let's just ignore that. Yeah, let's let's play. delete that one from our memories real quick. As Dill's, Dill's gonna do. Going down to town and city, get them smaller blast zones out here. You'll recognize that Rafi actually banned Final Destination. He wants—he doesn't want to deal with any. He wants—he wants to make sure that he has platforms at least at the yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It allows him to play with the projectiles a little bit easier. Allows him to get grabs into like a deep poop a little bit sooner. Uh, it might have been an error with yeah. which stage they were going for. Maybe had a miscommunication. But regardless, now Dill was playing well. Game number one. He was actually like pretty much in control a lot of that game. He just like the second he lost that first stock and he just like threw away his second one. It was just uh so you know pretty much you know give give him some the homie game number one. So let's see if he actually start to put up a little bit of a fight for game number two. And we're going to Smashville instead. They got a little bit mixed up. The Smashville and Town City kind of look similar, you know, like they're both animal crossing stages. We're gonna try it again. Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen to Dill twice in a row. That would just be unfortunate. But it's looking all right for Rafi. Rafi trying to hold it down. Now going to go ahead and do those falling nares. Every raw player you're going to see is going to do that quite a bit. It just covers so much area. And just look, see, it's hard to contest with the way they pull themselves back without getting part of that hitbox. But it does come out somewhat slow. It's the one drawback that it really has. He waits for the slip. He was trying to time that so he would avoid the slip. Just a little bit too late on the trigger pull. Now we got Diddy Kong with a new projectile. Throwing the gyro to give him some breathing space to get back onto the stage safe and sound. Monkey flipping onto the platform, Smashville. There we go. You can see the use of Rob's neutral air to burn through that platform without having to commit too heavily. Rafi making great use of all the tools that his character has. Trying to get into Dill here. Wants to go for that BQ fairly soon now. Has the damage racked up. Doesn't have a lot of rage on him though, so I don't think it'll quite kill yet. But now, for sure, you can probably get it. Okay, again, swing out the projectiles, just keeping Dill out with this wall. See, he's looking for the grab. Uh, I like the option, he throws the gyro upwards to keep Rafi, you know, off away from the ledge. Forcing him to burn a little bit of his gas in Uppy. 
Picks up the gyro yet again. I mean, Dill, Dill's been on kind of a tyrant. Been, been a little bit of a tyrant with that uh, gyro. Just taking it back. Pushes the banana peel off stage, just looking for a potential edge guard. Or like a tirade. Yeah. I just, I just, I hit, I was like, I was like, he's like a, a now a ruler of the kingdom. Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, I, I, I'm with it though. I'm with it though. Here we go. Coming in, dash and attack. Goes for the back air. When I catch it, forward smash. Now won't find either up air. Somehow he will do all of that. But God, down smash has such an abysmal angle that sends you that. Free yep. punish for Raffy. I mean, you saw Dill, you know, bet, pretty much betting it all on black with that rocket barrel boost and landed on red. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not Nairo's critically acclaimed series here. You're not supposed to bet it all in yeah. tournament. There we go. Gives him a slight charge that forward smash after the peel. Bring that up. What you got next? Trying to catch Rack again back on the stage. He's just so annoying and persistent with the way that he wants to play his game. They're trying to chill off stage with that up air. Gets him with the rocket barrel boost, but he went a little oh. bit too low. And again, Dill's going to go off to the death of the second stock. Yet another super low percent death. And I, you know, Dill's not happy about that one. Like, it was just... I get it, too, because Rafi, every single time he tries to get back on the stage, no matter who he's playing, everybody knows Rafi's going to do it. He's always going to do at least one up air under the stage to see if it hits you or not before he tries to recover. You can see he caught on to that, tried to punish, and ended up dying for it. So it feels bad when you're making the right decision, but the execution just falls short. Now you see Dill was kind of kind of thinking about what character he wants to play. He does have a Mewtwo in his arsenal. I don't think I would want to actually Does he have a Fox? Character. He, I mean, he does, but I don't think he'll go Fox. Raffy, his Fox is not up to, up to snuff. He made opinion. a tweet about hating the fact that he'll go to game three with someone, he'll kind of pick a like tertiary Fox and he'll lose. So yep. I'm like, if you got one of those, now's the time to whip it out. I mean, you can't hate that because, like, you're the one playing Rob. Yeah. Like, if they do that, you need to come up with a counter pick for that situation. It's like he is hovering over that Mewtwo like he did mention before, though. Yep. Sheik? Sheik. I haven't seen Dilgon Sheik go Sheik in a long time in tournament. Let's go. I mean, this is a pretty good character to use in this matchup. You know, we got some needles to be able to throw out. Able to actually apply a lot of pressure in front of uh, Rob's face. And probably a lot he can do about it, have a lot of guaranteed confirms, especially since his hurt box is so large, a lot of the confirms that you're used to kind of whiffing, easier to connect on scare. Yeah. I mean, the last game of his, like, uh, Dill's last major that he travels, or regional that he travels to, you know, might as well just bust out the old main of Sheik. It's almost like refreshing to see it again. Yeah, it's like coming full circle, right? Yeah. Like, all ends in the beginning. Drills him into the up air. He's been so persistent about that. If he shields the gyro, I'm just going to shoot out another one. And you've seen Dill get caught by that time and time again. Nice catch on the jump there with the needles. Okay, get that beam coming out. Dill is just playing the patient game at this point. You see him noticing, not, just, not getting too close to Rob. Using needle storms for himself to just kind of negate all the projectiles that Rob's throwing towards him. Okay, drag him. Uh... Beats the air dodge into an up air, not enough to get the kill just yet, sitting at super low percent. One more grab could be his fate. See, he's running away to the other side of the stage to try and give himself some space. Oh, careful. But that's one of the things that I find for most players does not work against Rath. Usually he likes that space. It's like, all right, it's just more time for me to throw out these projectiles and taser you down. Woo! He held onto the platform. Oh, uh, I tried to actually go for an option, I think. He got that downer coming his way, gets spiked down into the. Again, 91%. You know, Dill has yet to take a stock from Raffi. You're right. Yeah, every single match has been a yep. stock. This could be the first time. Gets yes. the bouncing fish, reads the air dodge. Dill finally putting a kill on the board. But his KD ratio is not as good as Raffi's currently, man. And I don't know if this is uh, a trademark of the matchup or just the way Dill likes to play his sheet, but it seems quite a bit more on the reserve side. Uh, especially in a matchup like this, Sheik's tend to try and smother Rob, but Dill seems to be taking a more calm, relaxed yeah. approach. A passive approach. Whittle it down, yeah. yeah. He walks up there and just tries to shield the gyro, just kind of make it disappear from the battlefield. Both rolling back, just waits for the neutral before going for that shield grab. Oh, he's getting set up. Uh, we grab again, up air just for some free damage. Dill is one grab away. This could be it. Yep. He's the air dodge up air. Rafi, not enough to get the kill. Great wow. DI coming from Dill. 
So there we go. It looks like one more will actually be enough this time around. Yeah. But it's still kind of crazy. playing patient. Runs up there. It's a double forward air. Doesn't get the air dodge he's looking for, but the bouncing fish is not. Yes, sir. Rafi taking out with a 3 0 victory over Dill, setting Dill into a seventh place finish. Here it is, the final overclock of four for Smash 4. Oh, Rafi's gonna move on to yeah. Loser's Quarters, is what it's called. And Rafi got the uh, the Yomi layers there, right? First time he goes for yeah. the immediate up air, second time he waits for the air dodge, gets it, and then now Dill's like, oh crap, which one is he gonna do? Does the immediate up air again? Kind of does a cycle and he gets caught and loses that final stock.